Institute of Freedom. Hey, like my hands free umbrella. You know, this is the Pluto version of 62. 62 to freedom, Pluto. <laughs> now this is called, a, I saw this at uh, the mall when they were shopping. It's the only thing I saw in the mall that I like. You know, when I'm riding on the motorcycle, it comes down like this. You know, cause your back never gets wet anyway. And then if you lean over and then I got bathing suit on. So my shirt just got a little bit wet. Really, see it? That's the only part of me that got wet. Riding on a motorcycle in the rain. Really, seriously, nothing on my back is dry. So, I don't know, it looks funny and everything, but I like it cause my hands are free. I can just do this, boom, do this. It's got these straps. So, they reduced it down from uh, like $5 down to $1. Try to get rid of it cause I guess nobody would buy it. Every, everybody's afraid to be different, I think. I'm already an alien, so <laughs> it ain't gonna bother me much. And then if you ain't riding a motorcycle, look. Just walk around like this. Put your, put your shades on. No, these are these are really uh glasses for uh, uh you know my I got bad eyesight. They're my reading glasses. Welcome to 62 Freedom. You know, don't be afraid to be different. I like this. I like this. I know it looked funny and all that. Who cares? You know, when you get old enough like me, you know, you don't care what, you don't care what people think. <laughs> That's like on the bottom of my priority list. Way down by my feet. <laughs> uh, at the top of my head is uh, my family. And then right around my eyes is getting this house done. Da, 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 da. It goes like that. Got nothing to be, oh, you look funny. I look funny without this thing on, man. What are you talking about? So do you. So don't be afraid to, uh, don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to go on the other side of the world and build a house for your daughter when she's 11. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to quit working. Just retire and enjoy yourself, like me. My wife is working right now. My daughter, she don't want to go out in the rain. <laughs> Hands-free umbrella, babe. Believe it or not, that's what they call it. UFO. I don't know if you can read that. Where is it at? Oh, it's right here on the strap. UFO, you've seen it first. Get yourself one. They don't pay me to win. <laughs> I don't got any guns on them. Just show you, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what, how crazy it looks, how far it is. I'm game, baby. I'm game. So I came down here to check out the uh, bill, see what see what's going on here. Let's take a look around and see what got accomplished. Uh, yesterday this is sunday so sunday fun day so it's raining but i mean i'm gonna go swimming there's a brown out right now where i don't know if there is here but you know i'm ready i got plenty of battery for filming so i'm just gonna go swimming and ride around on my motorcycle in the rain you get plenty of breeze it's just like a fan so uh Let's switch over to the GoPro, this is my phone. Let's switch over to that and see what's going on. I went to the market, bought some merienda for tomorrow, you know, the snacks. The same price, they get more. And I bought this. It's a, you put a put it on a bamboo stick right here and you can reach up there high and cut the bamboo, the uh, banana leaf that's uh, dying off. And I just found that out a couple of days ago. That's what makes the bananas not, not so big and they're healthier and bigger bananas if you do that side. So I want big bananas. That's See, we're working down here a lot on the uh, skim coat and the, um, see all this, all this white? They're putting the first layer on there. It's gonna be three layers. And uh, just anybody's doing this first layer, but 
Only the people that are real good at it are gonna be worth it on the last layer. And I'm gonna talk to Gary about that, but I think that's the plan anyway. But I wanna make sure, because I want it to live the best, I don't want uh, rookies to be working on the final skim coat. And I say rookies loosely because, I mean, they're good at, everybody's good at, uh, uh, better at, it's like a professional at one thing and they can do everything else, but they might not be uh, as good as somebody else. So I want the very best to work on it. Anyway, they also been working all over the place. Look, bam. It's the first, first skim coat through here. So it already got a lot smoother, believe me, when I said, by the time it gets through three coats, it's gonna be super smooth. Well, you, you saw all this already. Look at this leaf. Uh, look at this. That looks just like a leaf. Wow. He's pretty cool, right? I'm not gonna bother him. I get some blow up on you. Look at this little moth right here. That's a strange thing there too. Oh, look at that. Wow. I'm seeing some wildlife here. <laughs> All right. Wow, I want to go swimming. I'm at least going to go waist deep out there. It's a little rough. It's not glass, so I might not get carried away. There's no buddy system here. And see, this is what this is for. Go up there and cut. See that leaf right there? You need to cut that right now. Help them bananas out. But I got to find a big, long piece of skinny bamboo. Not nothing like that. You couldn't hold that up and go all around the yard. Maybe you could, but you wouldn't want to. <laughs> I want a little skinny piece of bamboo. It's strong, but... Wow. Oh. This door opens, baby. Like I've been telling y'all, they do it different. This whole gap was open, and they nailed nails all in the um, jam. And then, once they... Uh, wow, that door's perfect, man. <laughs> Look how pretty that white mahogany is. Wow. Yeah, I can't do, I can't do nothing but put some clear on there. That's all I can do. It's got some silver uh, doorknobs bought already that are probably locked up. And there's the front door. Wow, it's beautiful too, man. And that's a, that's a spare bedroom door. He's already got that in the... Uh, working out pretty good right there. Look how many colors are in there. I don't know how you, you can see this. Lord have mercy. That's some nice looking wood. It gets yellowy. Look at yellowish kind of tint. Then it goes to, wow, look at the grain on there. Lord have mercy. It's beautiful. I'm telling you. <laughs> You're gonna, it might not be showing up in a live, uh, and this is just outrageous. This is outrageous. That's an insert right there, but wow. Huh. Wow. <laughs> I, I do a lot of wow when done. I'm sorry, but dang. Doggone it. There's a lot of wilds around here. And then the other door, the back door, looks the same as this. Not the same because none of this looks the same. I wonder what, wow. 
kind of yellow wood is that? There's this is absolutely natural wood. Nothing has been put on this. Yeah. It's the, that's the only place there's any yellow. Hmm. I know some of this is inlay because you can see the inlay right there. But it's all white uh, mahogany. It's a solid white mahogany door. There's nothing hollow about it. All the doors I had in America, like in Dunny and everything, they were all hollow doors. You could put your fist right in through there. I never did that. I'm not saying I did. Something banged into one of them and we had to replace it. It's a cheap, uh, you know, I don't know what you call that stuff. Anyway, they're beautiful. Let me get ready to go swimming. That's what I'm gonna do. And, uh, well, let me go through this door and see what's going on in the other side. Look at, see, it's got the gap at the bottom. That's how it's supposed to be to um, make up for the tile that's gonna be floated in here. It's gonna be tile all in here. So, I don't remember a gap being here. Let's check it. Hmm, that's not much of a gap. It may be good enough, yeah. It's there. I just need to clean up that uh, the threshold here. It's just a piece of wood. It's gonna get it all chipped out right there. It'll be the same gap. They had that on top of there uh, evidently when they were uh, making the, um, you know, setting the door. All right. <laughs> I'll see you in a little while. We'll maybe, uh, Show you what the water looks like down there all right and welcome to my channel and i hope that uh we could provide some insight into the philippines if you have any questions about you know i mean i can't get into detail about how much uh it was to build the house because it's not finished yet so um but the property was like uh for it's a thousand square meters officially but um they also give me five five meters deep across the front of the thing extra you know from where they're, they're going to do the row widen out tip from the center line out 10 meters they made it 15 meters to make sure that they had plenty enough room to do what they wanted to do so that gave me five extra meters so i, I approximate it's probably 1200 or something like that 1200 square meters because it'd be 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. It might be only 1,100. 1,100 square meters, let's call it. So, um, that was, uh, it costs around 20,000. But, hey, it's on, the, it's on a place where I wanted that I just fell in love with, so. There's no price on happiness. So, uh, I mean, I can give you details about what stuff costs. Like, one 16mm uh, rebar is like 9 to $10. But it was like, you know, inflation happened. It's more like closer to 10 now, but it was like around 8 when I first got here and bought a bunch of them. It was like 8 or 8.50. And now it's close to 10, so. Uh, if, you, if you get close to 62, which I went ahead and, you know, six months before you can retire was 61 and a half. That's when I put, put in for retirement because it takes them a while to, you know, generate everything. And then, uh, anyway, as soon as I possibly could, looking at the stock market and everything, and I don't know. You look at your stock market thing, and I retired and and left uh, in January. So, due to year to date on the Dow Jones, and look what happened. That's why 
uh, I felt I felt something like it was something was going to happen, and uh, so I cashed out on all my 401k and all that stuff, and half you know less than a quarter of it, and to add to my work year for the tax purposes, just enough so I was only a thousand below going into another tax bracket. So I stayed in the same tax bracket, took a quarter of it last year, and then as soon as it turns past January 1st, I did the rest of it, which put me down a, a tax bracket or two. I'm just gonna be close to two tax brackets down because all I got was my 401k. I didn't work any, I didn't generate any funds. So, except for, you know, Partial Social Security, which is very little, so. All right, I yacked enough, I'm gonna go swim. Just came back from swimming, but you know I was, you know, you notice if you notice in the time lapse, I was facing the ocean more because look, I'm the only bait out there. Watch this. There's nobody in the water. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got some salt water in my nose. I am the. <laughs> I'm the only bait in the sea. There's no bait out there now. So, <laughs> I don't know, it makes me a little paranoid. You know, if something swim by, a shark or a saltwater crocodile or something, I'd be the only thing flopping around out there. Dang, that kind of chubby. And they might think, hey, there's an albino... Uh, <laughs> Here's an albino uh, seal out there. Oh yeah, I wonder what an albino seal tastes like. <laughs> so they say there's no saltwater crocodiles around here, but I think it was just a couple islands away. They caught the world record saltwater crocodile. The world record. I don't know if that still stands, but if I can find it on the internet, I'm going to show you tell you how many miles away that saltwater crocodile was but that thing was humongous it could just you know you ever see the uh, national geographic where they snatched them buffaloes and stuff right off the it was bigger than now <laughs> all right I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that up there if i can find it put some mileage or you know voiceover on the mileage or something like that all right yeah, man, this crocodile's a monster. I mean, that's the only way you can put it, monster. And, uh, yeah, it's only 359 miles from here, but uh, it's a pretty good distance because there's a lot of distance between several islands. I mean, it's only 359 miles, but look at that monster. Look how the tail goes under the cart and then continues on. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, of course, uh, uh, kill people, shoot. <laughs> uh, it didn't get that big, that fat, eating fish. That's for sure. Peace out for 62 to freedom. I'm gonna go rinse off. You know, I'm gonna rinse off in the outdoor bathroom back there. Probably head on home. Uh, it's a brownout, so they might be 
pot by now, maybe they want to come swimming. My daughter said, check back with her. So, I'll see you later on the flip-flop. It didn't rain any when I was swimming, but it rained on the way back a little bit. And on the way here. So, we only find a couple pieces of sea glass, but she's got a sharp eye, so <laughs> stay tuned. She's going to find something, I bet you. Estuary. Boy, I knew I told him you would find some sea glass. Nothing extraordinary though. Here. I don't think that big one's sea glass. It's probably like quartz. Huh? It's probably like quartz. Maybe. See on the crocs. She's got one right there. She brought a book with her. She's into that story. So a lazy day. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the house build day.